Greetings, YouTube. Words cannot say how amazing it is to be looking at you right now from my broadcast studio for the first time in about a week. Uh, I am at home checking on my house. I still have no water because I've shut off the water and there could still be hundreds if not thousands of dollars in pipe damage and water damage. I'm not going to turn on my water until at the earliest Monday to make sure the house is fully thawed on its own. Um, but the good news is I checked my electronic equipment. I checked my bathroom, my kitchen. There's no flood. There's no damage. And there are so many people in Texas who have damage, unfortunately. Um, and I also, I know I've, I've shouted out Steve Wester a couple times. He deserves so much love. He's been such a supporter of my channel, uh, not just financially, but just emotionally. He's just an amazing dude. Uh, Steve, thank you for uh, uh, sponsoring a space heater that helped get me through some of this time and also um, just in general, you know, the donations that everybody's put, put this uh, month will go toward uh, my pipes. But uh, I also have to shout out, and he did not ask for this, but I've been waiting for the right time and I thought if I check on my house and it's okay, I'm going to shout him out. Steven, I know I'm going to butcher your name, but uh, De Leon Artis, De Leon Artis, Steven De Leon Artis, he donated 50 bucks toward my heating and pipe issue which is incredible. And yes, that's going to help. Every every view helps. If you can't afford to donate anything, don't worry about it. Just watch the video, you know? It's free. Hit that like button, comment. Um, okay, so to celebrate sort of having my house back, though I won't be doing any broadcasts soon and won't be uh, living here soon. So it's like celebrating the temporary return of me to my home. Uh, we have a little bit of a decision. You see, right now, we know that we are in the, uh, the bowels of hero use. But soon, uh, maybe it's tomorrow, right? Maybe it's tonight. Uh, we will be enjoying the bowels of Level Up. Now, here's the deal. This week, I did something I have not done for a very long time. I got back-to-back five-star champs, not just back-to-back. But back-to-back -back Groots, the Gentle Giant is now SIG 200. And we have had a lot of people who said, Prof, you gotta buff Groot to 565 even though he's not buffed. Who knows when he'll be buffed. But then there's a curveball, right? There's a huge curveball that happened. Because right as I was about to buff Groot, my last hunt for the G God tier spot resulted in, can you believe it, this man, who is now SIG 180. Now, talk about timing. He's SIG 180, and yet, oh, by the way, who's in the arena right now? <laughs> I got an idea, a pretty fat idea. It's old fatty himself. What do you know? I could get him to SIG 200 from the arena. Or is it more valuable to have half a hunt ready to go because since I had saved so many sig stones for Aegon and not had to use them, when I scroll down, well, I'm looking here at my skill sig stones and what do you know? I've got 29 plus ones ready to go that I could max sig him without needing to worry about sacrificing the 5,000 five star shards that I would instead get because, of course, those are forfeited if you get the five-star featured champion. Those arena grinders like myself out there, you know the pain of thinking that you have the 5,000 five-star shards locked up, and then you check it, and you replace like 279, and instead, you got your hands on a five-star featured champion you did not need. Here's to looking at you, Colossus. You don't even get a max sig crystal when they're sig 200. You just get the six-star shards, and it says, Suck it easy! Uh, by the way, I think it's also worth pointing out that I have saved not just one, but two of these used to increase the rank of a five-star champion before the end of 2017. I can't remember if Kingpin's 2017 or 2018. Part of me wants to say 2017 because I remember when he came out. And it feels like it was just yesterday, but somehow now it was like four years ago because it's 2021. So I don't know. But this is a poll. This is a poll opportunity for my subscribers. 
and for my friends and for my moderators. Should I take to 565 next, Kingpin or Groot? And of course, I will also max sig Kingpin if you choose him. Either a champion we think will someday, maybe in 2021, get buffed, or an OP God tier to beyond God tier champion, depending how you look at him. I will say this about Kingpin too. I am fighting that guy like crazy in Arena. The Thanos army is driving me crazy because uh, I hate fighting Kingpin in the Arena. I kind of hated him already, but now that he's been buffed, it just makes those uh, fights, especially the... Um, the infinite streak fights of the featured five-star arena, just a little bit tougher. And yeah, you can just make sure he doesn't get to a special two or there are ways around it, but that's the, the trade-off of all these older buff champs that they do make for better defenders, but that also makes for longer arena fights. Maybe I'm just complaining too much. I don't know. Uh, that's That's been my experience. Groot or Kingpin? Please comment below, and if you could also say uh, why? Like, I, I appreciate when people just comment one word, but also when you give some phrasing, that helps me kind of clue in. I'll do a result with the rank up in a future video, but for now, let's see what the community thinks. Woo! I'm back home. Thanks again to Steve and Steven. You two are amazing. Everybody's amazing, but you two were the MVPs of my channel certainly this week.